regular, you know, like there was cats that was doing it, like shooting stuff in the early days. Like I remember when we used to go to like, like once you were in like the scene, then you would hear about different parties that were going on in downtown Manhattan, like in the village. And then you would come across people that had cameras or they might have a studio or there was all kind of stuff going on that you never saw before in, in, in Brooklyn and in the Bronx. But now people had cameras and all kind of stuff and they were shooting stuff. So there were some people that shot some stuff before I did, but they didn't do it as a show. They just was like, it was just fun to them. You know, they had equipment, you know. Me, once I got it, I was like, nah, we're gonna do this every every day after school. We're gonna play the videos. I'm gonna go find, you know, um, Run DMC. I'm gonna go find Rock Him. I'm gonna find these cats and we're gonna interview them because nobody has seen these people prior to this. You just might have heard their radio, they, them on the radio late at night, but you might, unless it was on like an album cover or something, you never saw these people talk and in the flesh, you know, like for real. And so I would like, now nah, I gotta get them on my show so that when people turn on my show and then they'd be like, yo, this is Rock Him, and I'm hanging out with Rock Me, then people are like, whoa, that was crazy. I never yeah. saw Rock Him talk other than I, I heard him rap, yeah. but talk like a, in normal language. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. So that was a big deal for everybody and not just in hip hop, you know, um, house music. Um, I'm from Brooklyn, so I had to go, I got mad, you know, Caribbean people that I roll with, you know, um, my family's from Trinidad, so I knew every DJ, I knew every reggae spot, you know, whatever it was, we was up in there and, you know, so we would bring even those cats from the underground to our show and people would get excited about it. And then we started direct, then I started um, directing videos with my partner, the Vid Kid, Lionel. And, and that's when it really jumped off because um, we- What video did you direct? We did one? like mad videos. We did like, I've done, done over 400 videos. It was the first one I kicked it off. The first one was Roxanne Shantae. Roxanne wow. Wow. Shout yeah. out to Roxanne yeah. Shantae. Wow. Queens Bridge in the building. I was yes. always under the impression it was Nas. Um, was the first video we shot, but nah, Roxanne. that was later. I did mad videos before I got to Nas. Oh, you yeah. late, you late. I mean, that's why I'm here. I did, we, I did, yeah. we did the Shantae video, my partner Lionel and I. Um, then we did um, a couple other like them freestyle type videos, and then we started doing all the Biz Marquis videos. Like you, you got what I need. Um, just a friend. Um, the vapors, the, the vapors, and of oh, course that does make sure. sense yeah. because Roxanne Chate and Biz Marquis had a very close relationship yeah. back then. They still cool do, show. but like yeah. even then, yeah. you know, all the Big Daddy came, all the Cool G rap stuff. Um, what? Yeah. Um, who knows? Um, I mean, you could just go on for the guy, um, Belby Devo, the whole album, yeah. Poison, all of that stuff. You Boys to Men, whole album, right now. TLC, whole album. Wow. Um, Nas then comes. Then comes, then comes, you know, yeah. all of that stuff. But, um, you know, we wanted to, the key to me was the visuals, one, we wanted our people to look good. You know, we wanted the right lighting. We wanted us to feel like concepts that we might really want to come up with, not just the same old, you know, standing in front of the bodega type mm -hmm. videos. Yeah. And so we, the name of our company was called Classic Concept. And we hired, you know, a lot of black people that wasn't getting jobs and hired a lot of, you know, like the early makeup people, mm -hmm. you know, the, the um, stylists, mm -hmm. um, whoever, the, the lighting dude, it was all our people. So when people showed up on our set, it was like, yo, I didn't know there was this many black people that work in the film. Yeah. I was like, no doubt. They just wasn't getting a shot before. Mm -hmm. But so traditionally yeah. before that, it was what? like It was more like a union thing. And the union is Italians and, and Irish. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and it's just the way it was. So we were like, all right, no problem. We're going to just do our thing. Because already we was hip hop, so we didn't, nobody wanted us anyway. Mm -hmm. So that was good. Yeah. Fine. That was filling the we void. We do our thing over here. Mm -hmm. Nobody's paying us no mind until hip hop started making money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now everybody, yeah. Because <laughs> he made it, Ralph McDaniels made it look good. <laughs>